Today, I'm gonna to give you guys the most real and blunt and most important advice I've ever given on this channel. So without further ado, let's talk photography. So plain and simple, I get more work than most of my photographer friends because I work harder than them. That's it. I wasn't more talented than them. I didn't have any more privilege than them. I get more work because I work harder. And the ones that get more work than I do, they've worked harder than me. Plain and simple. I could just end this episode here and that would be the advice. But I want to dive in a little bit further. So whether you're just starting out in your photography career, you want to make your wedding photography business work, you want to be a photojournalist, you want to be a commercial photographer, whatever it is, or you're a veteran photographer that's been at it for a while, but you're not happy about where you're at in your photography career, or you're just curious about what it takes to be a pro photographer. So here's advice for all of you. We work in an extremely saturated market. There are tons of so-called photographers out there and many of them charge almost nothing, and the value of photography is going down. Unfortunately, in this business, you're not gonna make money being average. You're not even gonna make money being good. You have to be great, and not just great, you have to be better than everybody else. You have to be better in every single aspect of your photography business than the people that you aspire to be. Now, many of you out there, think to yourself, I do work hard, and nine times out of 10, you don't. Trust me, I've met you before. I've met these photographers out there in my classes, my fellow friends, and you don't work hard. You just think you do, and even if you think you do, that's not enough. You have to outwork your competition. If you want my work, you have to outwork me. That's it, plain and simple. And yes, many of you out there play the blame game. You blame your gear, you blame the industry, you blame your genre of photography, you blame technology, you blame clients, whatever. No one throughout my entire career, nor do I foresee this happening in the future, has ever sent me an email or called me up and said, Justin, we want to hire you. We've heard all about your complaining. You're really good at it. We need to hire you right now. Never happened. Never will happen. Now, you might also ask yourself, or you might be thinking to yourself, well, maybe you had privilege. Maybe things were given to you. I don't feel that way. It hasn't been that way for me. I come from a family of four children, and my mom raised all four of us on a teacher's salary. I couldn't afford to go to college, so I moved to California. I bartended. I got residency in California. I paid my way through college, and then just before I was about to graduate, I moved to Vietnam. So nothing was ever given to me throughout my entire career. I moved to Vietnam with very little contacts. I decided to hustle and grind and work on my own to make a career out of this. I didn't think I'd make a career out of it. I told myself I will make a career out of it. I spent years working on different stories, building up my contacts, working on my website, building my portfolio, working to find a way to get the work that I wanted to get paid to shoot. That's it, plain and simple. I went out there and shot. If no one was hiring me to do it, I'd go out and shoot the work I wanted to get hired to shoot. And guess what? It didn't happen overnight, but eventually it did work out for me. Eventually I got into the Eddie Adams workshop at a bunch of other workshops. I won some competitions and I got a meeting with one of the editors at the New York Times. This is years, by the way, years after working here on my own, finding any way I could to make money and to get by, taking on horrible assignments and horrible jobs as a photographer, anything I could to get by. Eventually, I got in with the New York Times. I got my first assignment. Again, that didn't just happen because it was given to me. I didn't just show up and say, it's time. I got in because of merit. I got in because of my body of work. And then I was hired after that because that body of work. And then I continued to get hired after that because I continued to execute for them on every single assignment that I did. And it wasn't easy and it never was. And it's not going to be. Every single assignment, every job you should do, you should have that pit in your stomach. You should be nervous. You should hustle. You should work. And then I started to get a lot of work. And then I talked to my friends around there and I realized they're not getting work. And I was no better than them. I didn't have more talent in photography than any of them. But I saw what they thought was work and it wasn't. You know, they might do one or two assignments a month, but I was doing like six assignments a month in four different countries. And in addition to that, I was shooting weddings. And when I wasn't shooting, I was editing my work. And when I wasn't shooting or editing, I was working on my business. I was building my archive. I was looking at my website. I was learning new skills as a photographer and trying to understand video as well and making myself more versatile as a visual storyteller. And I'd hear many of them talk and kind of introduce me in a condescending way about like, oh, Justin, he's, you know, he does some editorial work, but he's also a wedding photographer. Yeah, I was, and I loved it. But I love photography and that's what pushed me. Sure, I wanted to do the assignment work all the time. Sure, I didn't want to have to shoot weddings, but 
that was part of it for me. I knew doing that would allow me time to work on my stories, to earn the money I needed to make a living out here, and to earn the money I needed to sustain myself as a photographer. So while they were bitching and moaning, while they were being condescending and patronizing me and introducing me as a wedding photographer and calling themselves like a pure photojournalist, I was doing more assignments in a month than they would do in a year. And I was doing it for bigger and more prestigious magazines. And yeah, I was shooting weddings and I was learning and I was earning. That's what I was doing every single month. And even now to this day at 44 years old, I see my friends who haven't quite made it, who don't have a secure business, who don't have a sustainable business, who struggle month to month. And it's simply because they don't work hard. They don't treat it like a job. They're not hustling. I hustle. I still hustle to this day. Just last night, I was up until about midnight. I was updating my thumbnails for my YouTube channel. I recorded and edited and published this video. And this is just my side business. This isn't even my photography business. In addition to that, I was managing my photography business. I was up at 6 a.m. doing two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with my students. And then I was working on editing a documentary. And in addition to that, I'm planning the logistics for an upcoming commercial assignment in Thailand. That's all in one day. So you might think to yourself like, well, man, that's not me. At your age, after doing this for a while, I want to just like kick back and relax, right? Well, I don't. To be honest, I love it. I love days like this. It doesn't feel like a grind to me. I like the grind. I like the hustle. I still treat my business like a startup. I still treat every single assignment like it's my first. I put all of my efforts into it before, during, and after. And that's why I continue to get work. And that's why my friends, and that's why you guys out there aren't getting as much work as If you want to get as much work as I do, you have to outwork me, plain and simple. And if you want to sustain a career in photography, you have to have a passion for it because that passion is gonna sustain the extreme ups and downs. That passion is gonna push you to work harder. That passion is gonna push you to the grind on those 4 a.m. morning shoots and then working till midnight. That's what's gonna drive you. So nothing else in this industry, nothing else I've said in this channel is more true and more important than what I'm telling you now. The harder you work, the more work you're gonna get. Plain and simple, that's it. That's this episode, I'm out.